so we got our block in there. Now, before we display some content there, I think it'd be good if we actually have some content in our site. Because look at this, we've got no courses, we've got no users really, except our admin user. So there's an easy way to add some test courses and users. If you just go into site admin, development, and make test course. So let's just add just a small course that created quickly. Test course. And this will just give us some content, you know, something that we can actually fetch and display. So it makes a course, and if we go in there, we can see what it's done is made a couple of assignments, a couple of files there, and we can also check to see if it's got any enrolled users. It makes one student there. So that's cool. All right, fine. Um, that's good, so that's something we can fetch. And I want to probably put that in here in the content. And maybe before we start changing the code now, it would be nice to, uh, since we've hit kind of a check mark here, like a, a working version of the plugin, let's just commit that as well. Because whenever we kind of have our, um, we've completed one piece of work, then we should make a commit. So we do a get init, we've got some files there, add, call it anything you want, initial test block code. So we always want to be doing stuff like that um, when we are uh, working on Moodle, you know, whenever you create some code, it's working, let's commit that and kind of make each commit uh, an atomic piece of code that works alone. 